Caddis Maximus here. I was going to do a big comparison of various different hole saw arbors, but I'm just going to do the spider hole saw arbor kind of standalone because my collection of hole saw arbors is totally buried. The spider hole saw arbor is expensive. There's some aspects that I like about its design. There's ones that I don't. And I guess the biggest don't that I don't that I not that I don't like is kind of a plus and a minus and it's the way the center drill the center drill is totally proprietary in this big long uh piece here and it's like 10 bucks or something to replace the darn thing admittedly center uh, drills for hole saws don't wear out that fast it's not that big of a deal if they're not that sharp and you can certainly resharpen this but it's still a little bit disappointing that they have it all integrated into one unit but it's a double-edged sword because they do that because it allows this whole shank here to be nice and solid and pretty rigid. And it just has a just a, a guillotine or a U-shape kind of retention. It's hexed with a hex brooch through the body. Put it in there. Locks in place. Press the spider button. Interesting that they just have a sticker and no stamping whatsoever. So as soon as that sticker peels off, I mean, of course it is a, you know, it's a spider because of the design, but nonetheless, I think it's a little bit odd that they didn't even stamp the word spider on it. Putting on the hole saw, spring loaded. So take the hole saw, spin it on there, let the go to spring, and then back it off until it locks down. So it is pretty easy to remove the, uh, the hole saw. Unlike some stare at Milwaukee ones, which have a nut that can press on the pins and actually really lock down the, the hole saw itself so it doesn't have any wobble, which can be a thing. If you, you can use hole saws and drill presses, and getting rid of the minor amount of wobble makes a big difference in hole quality. But that being said, this is a pretty decent design. This appears to hold it pretty darn steady. Quite a bit of protrusion for the center drill, but not too bad. I just find it a little bit odd that they have this arbor here be so darn long. I don't know why the thing is like four inches long and sticks so far out of the, I guess just to give you a little bit of extra reach and their infinite wisdom, they've determined that this much extra reach is the best average amount that you need. One other thing I was going to point out and you can see here is this button does protrude quite a bit. So if you're using a smaller saw, hole saw, this is a one and three eighths, it's not that tiny. If you're doing progressive holes or you have to go deep for some reason to get out to whatever you're drilling, maybe you're going through several studs, you go through one stud, remove the plug, go through another one, smaller sizes, that button's going to end up interfering. So anything smaller than about an inch and a half or 40 millimeters, 35, 40 millimeters, you're going to run into some issues. So I would still recommend like the Milwaukee Stare, it's a variety, even the Lennox uh, Arbors over the spider arbor even though i think it's fairly well made actually if you really crank the hole saw i found on some of these <clears throat> like this lennox if you really really crank it on there it will just about uh sink the pins and then the whole the hole saw is really tight other than that it is easy to remove hole saws tend to get pretty jammed up on the threads and so that's why these types of arbors are pin drive. That's really, you know, the design of them is just the fact that when you're using it, it gets hot and expands, as well as just being torqued really hard. So all the force is going against the pin. So when it does dull, or you do need to swap it out, instead of having it just be totally jammed on the threads, the force has been put on the pin, so it's really easy to subsequently remove it. And all you have to do is pull this. Now, when this thing is in a drill and you're trying to change it, and you have to put the drill somewhere, and you have to press, some, find a way to pull on that collar. Trying to one finger this collar, it binds up. So you really got to have like two fingers on it. It just isn't my favorite design. Even though I'll get Spider credit for at least trying to do something a little bit different. I guess the best thing I like about it is that it does have a real heavy duty drive shank. Where many hole saw arbors, they have like a set screw in order to hold the center drill. It means that the arbor is hollow for the center drill to go through, and it does make it a bit weaker. So this was their idea of trying to make it, you know, a heavier duty uh, hole saw arbor. Anyway, really appreciate everybody's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. 
Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.